Hello everyone, it is Monday, December 10th, in the year of our 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome. Hey, it may be Monday, man love Monday, but it's only four more days till Friday. That's right. And for some reason, my uh, computer's a little choppy at the moment, so that means something's running in the background, and it's probably my antivirus thing or something. That sucks. Hopefully it'll run a little better in a moment. We shall see. But anyway, we gotta get to the unofficial sponsor of the show for today. And that'd be my good friend Crystal Lloyd Dozani, KJ Lloyd, Ogana Gold Coffee. Great way to start the day or the night or whatever have you. Oh, by the way, she's also a 50 style pinup model. She's a published poet and she knows it twice, by the way. She's an aspiring actress. She will be the next Betty Page someday. And I worked her in jolly old England. Because she was a phenomenal age ranger from Wyoming. A total sweetheart. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous. And a very, very, very good friend of mine. So, Oh, and hit up her uh, Facebook page. Facebook.com slash Crystal Addiction. All one word. K-R-Y-S-T-A-L-A-D-D-I-C-T-I-O-N. Okay? Okay. Now, my, uh, my pick'ems didn't go so well for football yesterday. See, now, I won the game on Thursday. But look at the crap that happened yesterday. I picked Buffalo. They lost. I picked, um, yeah, I picked uh, Cincinnati over Dallas. They lost. Cleveland, I had right. Tampa Bay over Philly. I picked that one wrong. Philly won. Baltimore, I picked over Washington. Baltimore lost in overtime. Atlanta got beat by Carolina. Yeah, I didn't pick that one either. Jetsicles over Jacksonville. I think I, I think that was the final score on that. Yes, it was. I picked Jets. They actually won that one. Not that I wanted them to win. Uh, Indianapolis did beat Tennessee eventually. I picked that one right. Chicago at Minnesota. I picked the Bears and they lost. Pittsburgh at home against San Diego. Who saw that one coming with San Diego winning? Not me. But uh, we got San Francisco, Seattle, Giants, and Green Bay. They all won as I predicted. And tonight, they better win. And we're talking about the Patriots. Oh, they better win. That's all I know. So, with that said, I see we did have something come up. Yep, McAfee was scanning. Son of a bitch. They ain't scanning now. So, good. Should run a little smoother now. We'll see how we'll see how it goes with the videos made. If it's screwed up, I apologize. If not, then wicked awesome. Speaking of beer, oh, we've got something very special for today's show. I wanted to unleash it yesterday, but I was too busy yesterday, so I didn't dare drink a big, strong, tough guy beer and then have to work that night. I ain't got to work for a long damn time, so. Never had it before, folks. Never had a beer from Eel River Brewing Company out of Scotia, California. America's first certified organic brewery. Eel River Brewing Company. Product of Northern California. 5.8%. A little above average in strength. Certified organic by the uh, CCOF. Whoever the hell they are. USDA organic. So, tree hugger beer. How about them apples? Got it. I should have brought the big badass um, beer mug. But I figured I'd just bring the old official British pint glass. The one that I got at the 2011 London Beer Festival. Proper beer opening apparatus. Proper technique. Not much of a pop. I know that Justin Dimmitt, Mr. Pop Master. But hey, it doesn't matter if the beer pops loud or not. What matters is how the beer tastes. Okay? That's all that matters. And Justin, I love you, brother. No homo. But Guinness is not the best beer in the world. Okay? Still got beer left. That, my friends, is what a real pint is all about. Cheers and beers to all of you prost, as they say in Germany. Kampai, as they say in Japan. Oh, yes. Never had this. A porter. I love porters. Oh, ho, 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 wow. Now, that's phenomenal, folks. That is a phenomenal beer. No question about it. I... I've had organic beers before, and I've never had an organic beer that I did not like. This stuff is awesome. Absolutely awesome. 
So I got to take another sip before I get to the birthday shout outs. Mm. And before I get to the birthday shout outs, I have to announce the winners of the photo submission for the beer designs. Now, my good friend Wally Fortier submitted his design. Now, he hasn't turned it into aluminum art yet, and he will eventually. Therefore, because it's not a finished product, I did not pick it as the uh, winner for the week. But, Wally, don't worry. I know special things are coming about eventually down the road. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Hopefully. We shall see. I know you're a busy man, too. So, my neighbor across the street, Wally Fortier. Wally's aluminum shaping process. Not Wally's ass sculpting process, though. You probably wouldn't mind that if you were single and she was hot. Wicked hot. Facebook.com slash WASPA. W-A-S-P-A-A. All kinds of aluminum art. And he's really an amazing man. But, and he's a happy man because the Broncos won yesterday. Yup. My Patriots have to beat the Houston Texans tonight. They have to. To keep that number two seed. Representing loud and proud Super Bowl number 42 official Randy Moss jersey. Patriots. Hell yeah. I know he's not there anymore. But you know what? You never forget. Never forget the contribution that that man did hook us up with. All right. But anyway, uh, my good friend Pam Lala submitted a whole pile of beer bottles. Picture. And that will be the cover photo for the Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page. I can't figure out how to put it on there. Justin, my executive producer of the show and the creator of the Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page, I'm sure he'll hook me up because the man is a wizard. He's a technical wizard and I am a technical retard. All right? There. I said it. And my good friends, Pam Lala, um... Jennifer Reinhardt, Stephanie Carpenter. There was another lady, too, that I don't know. She helped out. But you lovely ladies made a Beer and Song of the Day a logo out of beer caps. Now, that is genius. And, Justin, you were already saying that that's got to win. And you said that a week ago. I couldn't agree more. So that will be the profile pick. You guys are going to love it. You ladies are going to love it. And all you its out there, you're going to love it, too. All right, let's get to the birthday shout-outs. We've been falling behind. Right off the bat, a lovely, beautiful lady that I worked with in jolly old Japan, a Jetsicle, an engine goddess, my good friend Julie Wood. How are you doing, sweetie? Hope you're doing well. Living in Idaho, last I knew, and uh, from Florida. That's right, Florida, the old people state. But she's by far from being old. She's not even halfway to being a senior citizen. That's how young she is, okay? Julie, a total sweetheart, great friend of mine for many, many years. Known her for 12 years. And uh, Julie, I miss the hell out of you. Hope you're doing well. You know I'm here for you each and every day. If the day ends in a Y, I'm there for you. That's what true friends are for. And I miss you, girl. I really do. Absolutely love you as a friend. Total sweetheart. And uh, cheers and beers to you, girl. Drink one with me today. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. Mm. Next on the list. Here's a lovely lady I've known for 20 years. My good friend Margie Resch. Happy birthday to you, girl. Hope you're doing well. We will never forget it. Two-Tail Mafia for life. The greatest airplane that ever lived. Our favorites. The C-141 Stylifter. That's right. We love that plane. Because that's a cool plane. Pleasure and an honor working with you in good old California. The land of fruits and nuts. A great place indeed. And I miss those days of working with good people like you. And hope you're doing well. Happy birthday, Margie. I know you follow the page. Always a pleasure chatting with you. And uh, a big cheers and beers to you. And hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list. Born on the same exact month, day, and year as my good friend Margie. Would be my good friend who married my awesome cousin, Christine. I'm talking about my man, Tim Taylor. No, not the tool man, not tool time. This guy's a little better than that. Tim, an awesome, awesome guy I've known for a long damn time, ever since you and Christine hooked up. A shout out to my cousin, Christine. Awesome, awesome cousin. Total sweetheart. And uh, so petite too, only four foot 11. It's so cute. And she, she looks so young still. Christine, how do you do it? Ah, no wonder. We're Karis's. We're Baker's. I am anyway, but the Karis side of the family, 
And the Baker side ages well, too. But the Kara side of the family definitely ages well. And there's no question that you have done that. And uh, give you a shout-out. Tim, you look fantastic. So do you, Christine. Phenomenal couple. They've been together for, like, God, what is it, like, I don't know, 30 years? I mean, you guys were, like, almost high school sweethearts. You guys started dating, like, right around the time that Christine graduated high school. I No, not 30 years, but pretty close, I think. I, seems like I've known you forever, but Tim... I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Christine, I know you got to celebrate with them. you got to spoil them because that's how awesome you are. These folks are wicked hardcore New England sports fans, Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics, and Bruins. Very passionate about this sports, and I absolutely love it. So cheers and beers to the both of you. You guys have a wicked awesome day. Tim, you celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list, a great lady who I have yet to meet in person. But she is awesome. A fellow Mafia Wars fanatic like this guy. And I'm talking about you, Nancy Boosted. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. We talk it up fairly often. You know, I haven't heard from you a little bit. Probably about a month. But obviously, always a great lady. And uh, a big cheers and beers to you. Hope you're doing well. Love to hear from you. Hope you enjoy the show. And hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list, another mafioso badass that I have yet to meet in person. My man, Phil Stoops. Happy birthday to you, man. Hope you're doing well. And uh, life, life's treating me great. It always does. If the day ends in a while, it's a good day. Hey, I, I, I spin things that are positive. Only four more days to Friday. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, right now, it's wicked cold here in yeah, Texas, where men and men and the bulls run scared. See, it got down to 24 degrees with a 14 degree wind chill. Oh, and you want to know what the temperature is in Buffalo, New York? 54 degrees with like a 43 degree wind chill. Yeah, toasty in Buffalo compared to here. Yeah. Squeeze me. But anyway, Phil, my friend, hope you enjoy the show. Big shout out to you. Cheers and beers. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And the final birthday of the day goes to my man, yo, Frankie, Frankie Booth. What's up, man? Happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. I saw you already uh, liked my uh, birthday comment, so outstanding, my friend. Hope you have a phenomenal, phenomenal day. Another great mafioso friend of mine. We love those apps on the old Facebook. Hey, remember, folks, a stranger is a friend you have yet to meet, all right? That's the way it is, and I've met every single friend of mine was a stranger at one time, okay? Keep that in mind, folks. Every friend that you have was a stranger at one time. So when you see somebody on the street, and, you know, you just say, hey, how are you? Hello. Uh, bonjour. Uh, hola. Oh, how good I miss? Um, or you just say, uh, what's up? Hey. How are you? Always a classic. Ah. And if they say, what are you saying hi to me for? You don't know me. Then you know what? Avoid them like the bubonic plague. Because that means that they are probably a scumbag. So that's just my philosophy on things. I, you know, when people, and I've had people do that to me. No offense, but it was mostly in California when I was living there. I actually had a bunch of people said. What are you saying hi to me for? You don't know me. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to give them the big old GFY because they deserve it. See, Massachusetts, where I'm from, the greatest state in the nation, as well as Massachusetts, it wouldn't be in America. Remember, pretty much everybody I've ever said hello to, they always say, hey, hey, how are you? Doing great. How about you? Doing marvelous. Man, how about them freaking socks? Man, yeah, they're pissing me off, them schmucks. Ah, oh, but at least the Yankees are watching the World Series. I mean, we just started talking sports because sports is religion in Massachusetts, trust me. And if you don't agree with me, <laughs> go there, all right? If you don't agree that sports is religion in Massachusetts, you've probably never been there. But anyway, I digress. Let's get back to, uh, how about some additional shout-outs? And one of them is from California, the land of fruits and nuts. But a beautiful lady, a sweet lady. And she is back on the old mid-shift. An age ranger, because danger is no stranger to an age ranger. And uh, I'm talking about you, Danielle Moreno. 
I didn't, sorry I didn't get to see you last night, but I will be looking for you at work this week to say, what's up, girl, give you a hug, high five, something like that. But uh, hope you're doing well, and and I'm going to be looking for you tonight, all right? So when we say 61, 31, you say, go ahead, and I'll say, how you doing, Danielle? You doing marvelous? Hell yeah. All right, so Danielle, a big cheers and beers to you, and you have a wicked awesome day. Just celebrate life. It's what I do each and every day. And the final shout out of the day goes to a lovely lady, an ageless wonder, absolutely beautiful, one of the nicest people you will ever meet in your life. And I'm talking about my good friend, Molly McGee. Molly, what's going on, girl? How you doing? Thank you so much for the great compliments, saying I'm wicked awesome. <laughs> I can't even hold a candle to you. I mean, everybody loves you. And they're fools if they don't. I mean, yeah, I know they kind of love the love doctor too, but, you know, you are just totally cool. And uh, miss the hell out of you. Always a pleasure hearing from you. Had to give you a shout out because, like Smith Barney, you made it the old-fashioned way. You earned it. That's right. And Molly, big cheers and beers to you. A total sweetheart indeed. I give you the salute. She is a fellow graduate of Martha Vineyard Regional High School class of 1992. She graduated with my brother. She graduated with our good friend, the late, great, phenomenal uh, Danielle Miller. As we knew her, Danielle Kylie. We miss her terribly. Ugh. Sad that she passed away three days ago. We are never going to forget Danny. Ever. But I tell you, she was so positive. Just so positive. Nursing. She was a nurse for almost 20 years. Okay. What did she do? She helped others in her job. That's what she did. She helped people. And now we need to help her and her family. All right? So if anybody's interested in that, let me know. Hit me up on the old Facebook. Hit me up on the old YouTube. Facebook.com slash Red Bosox. It's R-E-D-B-O-S-O-X. YouTube.com slash R-E-D-B-O-S-O-X. See, her and her husband, Norm, parents of seven kids. And, I mean, just devastating. Right before Christmas to lose their mommy. Just awful. But, ah. Uh, I guess the good Lord needed her to help others work miracles in heaven. And we know she's an angel up there, so a big cheers and beers. Molly, you are phenomenal, and we miss our girl Danny, don't we? Damn right we do. All right. But Danny would be saying, come on, Josh, get that show moving. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. That's what she's telling me. Get that show moving. We celebrate life, folks. That's what we do each and every day. For life in itself is truly a blessing. Ah, how about some celebrity birthdays? Right off the bat, Raven Simone is 26 today. She was a Cosby Show kid. And boy, is she grown up and just beautiful. Oh, yeah. Um, on this day in 1860, passed away in 1886, late great writer Emily Dickinson. Dickinson, excuse me. I know, a, I know a Jessica Dickinson. I almost screwed that one up. Whoops. Emily Dickinson. Dickinson, Dickinson, Dickinson. Boy, I tell you, it gets freaking confusing. Ugh. But anyway, um, Emily Dickinson, see, she was a reclusive poet, and most of her works were actually published after she died. Weird. Oh, uh, remember this guy passed away earlier this year. Great, the late great actor Michael Clark Duncan would be 55 today. Passed away earlier. And very, a lot of people were saddened by him. Phenomenal actor, most notably in the Green Mile. Great, great guy. 60 years old today would be one Susan Day. Well, who's she, Reverend Dr. B? Ah, remember the, uh, the oldest daughter in the Partridge family? That's right, that was her. Susan Day, absolutely beautiful back then. Not looking so great now. But, <clears throat> squeeze me, she was also in L.A. Law. But, hey, she's 60. She looks all right for 60. How about the late, great Dan Blocker, born on this day in 1928, sadly passed away in 1972, most famously known as Hoss Cartwright in that phenomenal 14-year show, Bonanza. He passed away in the last season. Well, prior to the last season, Dan Blocker, big old guy, Hoss, big old Hoss. How about Dorothy Lamore? She would be 80. She would be 90. Oh, no, she'd be, uh, oh, my God, 98. That's right. But she passed away at the age of 81. She was born on this day in 1914. Sadly passed away in 1996. Dorothy Lamore was most famous. 
with being with Bob Hope in seven different road movies. That's right, The Road to Rio. No, that was, was it? No, Road to Utopia, Road to Zanzibar. Seven road movies that um, Bob Hope did. Did I say Bing Crosby? I meant Bob Hope. Bob Hope, Bing Crosby. I mean, those two were one and the same almost. But uh, Dorothy Lamour, actually, yeah, Bing Crosby and Bob Hope did were in the road movies, and Dorothy Lamour was the lead actress in them. How about this lady? 50 years old today. Ah, actress Nia Peoples. She was gorgeous in her day. On this day, 1986, born same month and year as Raven Simone would be, Chicago Bears running back number 22, Matt Forte, an absolute badass, but he ain't no Walter Payton or Barry Demand Sanders. On this day in 1817, Mississippi, otherwise known as Western Alabama, was admitted as the 20th state in the United States of America. Outstanding. The Magnolia State. Good beer from there, by the way. Wally, I want that beer from Mississippi. I have yet to have a beer from Mississippi, but I've heard about it. Anyway, on this day in 1989, the first planet outside of our... Oh, 1984, excuse me. The first planet outside of our solar system was discovered. On this day, 1995, the worst snowstorm in Buffalo, New York history occurred. 37.9 inches of snow fell in 24 hours. Damn! That's over three feet, folks. On this day in 1961, Houston Oiler Billy Cannon gained a record 373 yards against... Now, the note said the Titans... I don't remember a Titans in the NFL in 1961. I remember they had the Dallas Texans, who later became the Kansas City Chiefs. Probably them. Probably a typo. Um, 373 yards. Now, I didn't look to see if that was... It couldn't have been passing because psh, a lot of people passed for 40 yards even back then. The old man Brocklin passed for 554 in 1960. But uh, anyway, I think that was a... Uh, Running back or wide receiver, he 373 yards combined between catching and running. I think it was running back. Anyway, I should have verified a little bit more, but whatever. It's my show. I'm not perfect. I was. I'd be playing third base with the Red Sox. On this day, 1958, the first domestic flight from New York to Miami. Passenger flight. Passenger jet flight. That's right. The Boeing 707 National Airlines flew 111 people from New York to Miami. 1958, the Boeing 707 airframe. I'll tell you what, that was legendary. The first true jet passenger airliner. And the Boeing 707 airframe lasted for a long damn time. There's still 707s out there to this day. Okay. Phenomenal airframe indeed. A legendary airframe. And uh, airline travel is a normalcy because of it. On this day in 1950, here's a huge one. Dr. Ralph J. Bunch became the first black American to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. 1950, think about it. To win that in that civil rights era, oh, good Lord. He went through hell, but a phenomenal man indeed. How about this one? 1945 on this day, Preston Tucker revealed plans to produce a 150-mile-per-hour car called the Torpedo. And in 1948... 51 of them were built. The Tucker Torpedo. Tucker, 48. You got to check out that movie. Um, Tucker, The Man in His Dream. An amazing movie indeed. That car, of the 51 that were built, I think only two got wrecked over the course of time. And I think there's 49 still around. It is one of the most collectible cars ever. That car was so far ahead of its time. It's insane. Safe car. One of the safest cars ever built. Amazing car. So, check it out. 1948 Tucker. Look that one up. On this day, 1931, Jane Addams became the first United States woman that was named a, co a recipient. She was co-recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. First woman to win it for, in the U.S. On this day, 1927, the first radio broadcast for the Grand Ole Opry happened in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee, Southern Kentucky. That's what it's known as. On his day in 1919, the National League voted to ban the spitball by all new pitchers coming in. And in 1934, the last pitcher that was legally allowed to throw a spitball retired. His name, Burley Grimes. On his day in 1915, 
the millionth, one millionth Model T Ford was assembled. Also on this day in 1915, and he was president at the time, Woodrow Wilson, 28th President of the United States of America. He married Edith Bowling Galt, and she became Edith Wilson. And she lived till 1961. But, uh, yep. Marriage in the White House. Here, yeah, yeah. On this day in 1906, Teddy Roosevelt became the first American ever to win the Nobel Peace Prize. There you go. I got a lot of beer to slam down. I got, I'm in trouble. Ah, right, let's get to the movie of the day, shall we? Here, yeah, Reverend Dr. B. All right. Bringing out the old cult classics again. Who? Why not? And this one is a unique one. It's called The Cocaine Fiends. But look at the date. 1936. Yeah, they were talking about the old the old white collar drug cocaine back in 1936. And in this one, a young woman gets mixed up with a drug deal uh, with a drug pusher who gets her hooked on cocaine, leading to all sorts of trouble. See, these are the type of movies that a lot of people didn't know existed because they were Hush, hush. They were showing it grind houses. They were shown roadshow attractions. You know, legends like, uh, oh God, like uh, David F. Friedman, Herschel Gordon Lewis. Um, trying to think of some of the other directors. Uh, what the hell is his name? Dan. Oh boy. A lot of those old uh, B movie directors back in the day, they had to actually do roadshows. They had to take the sh movies on the road. Uh, Morgan Babb, another one. There you go. Um, Kroger Babb, not Morgan Babb. Kroger Babb. He's another legend. But uh, there's a these movies were not allowed to be shown in mainstream theaters. They had to like take them on the road and then disappear after a few days. And the Cocaine Fiends was definitely one of them. 1936. So with that said, folks, today's baby of the day is stunningly gorgeous, and. Uh, her name's going to be uh, Petta Todd. <coughs> her birthday was two days ago, but I had to show other chicks for the, that were birthday girls. Uh, Petta or Peta, P-E-T-A, not like the Peta people, not like the Peta people, you know, people eating tasty animals, that's what I call it. Not people for the ethical treatment of animals. Now, all right, I'm against animal abuse big time, all right? You abuse animals, you deserve this. Period, die in the story. But... Animals are in my food chain. If you got an issue with me eating meat, eating not that kind of meat there, people. Come on. If you got a problem with me eating animals, which are in my food chain, please let me know. And we'll talk about it. Okay? It's okay to be a vegetarian. It's okay to be a vegan. I got no issue with that. Doesn't bother me a bit. Judge not, lest ye be judged yourself. But animals are in my food chain. Chain, chain, and I eat them. All right, that's what I do. Mm. Me love them burgers. Me love them toikies. Me love them chicken, pork, all kinds of stuff. Hell yeah. Mm. But yeah. So anyway, I like to say the Peter people are people eating tasty animals. Okay. That's the way I look at it. That's my personal belief. Hey, we're all different. Thank God for that. We have the freedom to be different. So with that said, um, Petta Todd, she was a f formerly, a, she's one of them, um, what's it called, uh, glamour models in The Sun, which is the, one of the most famous tabloid magazine, um, newspapers in uh, the United Kingdom. Of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. See, page three girls were famous in the sun. You go to page three and there's a topless chick and she's always hot. And yeah, British newspapers are great because they show nudity. How cool is that? Wicked cool. But uh, Peter Todd, I gotta be careful because a lot of these pictures I have of her, <laughs> she's topless. But I got a real treat for the song of the day. Oh, good lord. 26 she turned two days ago. <whistles> yep, she's English. How about them apples? And she doesn't have British teeth. That's even better. 
Today's song of the day is a real treat, recorded September 21st, 1960. And if you don't know this song, there's something wrong with you. I think everybody's heard this one. It's a classic Christmas song. And since it's Monday and I love my blues, it's a bluesy Christmas song by the late, great Charles Brown, who was born in 1922, sadly passed away in 1999 at the age of 76. Charles Brown had one of the most silky, smooth, velvety voices you've ever heard in your entire life. And this song is called Please Come Home for Christmas, an absolute classic, September 21st, 1960. And I know what you're saying. What day of the week was that, Reverend Dr. B? Okay, let's figure it out right now. September 20th, 1973 was a Thursday, so Friday for 1973, for Sept September 21st, 1973, was a Friday. So September 21st, 1962 was also a Friday. 1961 was a Thursday. 1961, uh, 1960, September 21st, 1960 was on a Wednesday. Look it up. The first person that verificates that, as opposed to defecates, that fact and proves that I'm right or wrong will get a shout out on tomorrow's show. So look it up. September 21st, 1960. I say it was Wednesday. All right. That's the day. Please come home for Christmas was recorded. Ironically, it didn't really become a hit until 1961. But that's all right. No problem. Here we go. This song is truly wicked awesome, and I guarantee at least 90% of you have heard this song before. I would hope so. Otherwise, you have no ears, you're living in a hole, or you don't listen to good music. Whoa! But they're covered. That's the closest I can get to nudity, folks. Oh, good lord, I wish I could show that one. I wish I could show that one. I like the look on that. See, that's like a 50s style right there. I love that. My good friend Crystal Lloyd Dozani. Girl, you need to do me a favor. And all you other um, ladies out there that are doing some modeling. I want to see an outfit like that, okay? You might make Babe of the Day, my real friends. You wear something like that and have to take, a, take some photos, you're going to get Babe of the Day. And I don't care if you're heavier set. That doesn't bother me. Because heavier set women are gorgeous too. I'm going to tell you that right now. You don't have to be skinny to be gorgeous. In fact, I prefer women that are a little thicker. Alright? This girl's not skinny. She's not fat. See, you can be big and be attractive, but there's no hope for you if you're ugly. If you got look like you got beaten with the ugly stick. Okay? If you got more dents on your face than Rosie O'Donnell has on her thighs, you're probably not attractive. But you never know. Because technically, beauty is internal, not external. And I've met some girls that have been classified as not gorgeous. And I'm like, oh yes, yeah, she is. Absolutely smurf -lily. Now this girl, I don't think there's any question that she's gorgeous. But, maybe she's got the personality of a pit bull. A rabid pit bull. And maybe she's evil. So therefore, if she is, she's ugly. Ugly as hell. Ugly as shit. Ugly as Eli Manning's face, okay? Kids, I hope the kids have turned their heads away by now. And are closing their eyes and listening to the great music while I show off the assets and other great things of pet a dog. Wow. I'd pet her. If I was single, of course. And by the way, folks, there are a lot of nudities. Nudies of her, okay? So, folks, do that Google search. P-E-T-A is her first name. Todd, T-O-D-D, -D, is her last name. Okay? And these are adults that I'm talking to right now. Do that Google search. And do not filter the results. Unrestrict your results. No filtering. That's how mine are. That's why I get cool pictures like this. Okay? Wow. And she has got some... She's got a rack, folks. An absolute rack. And there are a lot of nudity pictures. Kids, turn your heads. Please. 
Mm. You're getting bonus footage today because the song is over, but I still have beer. All right? So, I hope the kids have all turned their heads away or any of you other folks out there that don't appreciate the natural beauty of a pretty woman. Because this was a feature that was requested not only by men, but women requested the Babe of the Day feature as well. Okay, there it is, Petta Todd. Very beautiful, 26 years old. That's what she really looks like. And even without the makeup and stuff, she's pretty, okay? So that's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Over half these pictures I cannot show. She is not afraid to show her boobies. And I've shown that one. Yeah, I can't show that one. Can't show that one. Can't show that one, but I don't really like that one as much. I don't know. I like that one. That's pretty. That is the cute, innocent face that Reverend Dr. B loves. See, the Reverend appreciates natural beauty and happy photos. That one's not so happy, but it's pretty. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Squeeze me. I know the show went over 30 minutes, and I apologize for that. But a lot of great stuff on this show. Because I had to announce the winner of the contest. And Pam Lala, you you took the sweep. Because your submissions won both. So Pam, my dear, and I know I don't even need to, um, I don't even have to tag you in the episode. Because you watch the show every day like a true fan does. And uh, Pam, thank you so much. I give you the Reverend Dr. B salute. Wicked awesome. But... I need one more good picture to end it strong. And I can't do those because they're topless. And I don't want to lose my YouTube account, okay? Oh, my goodness. I'm losing my marbles over here. Now, my better half, the beloved Farrah, does not mind me looking at uh, naked women, okay? She doesn't. I like that photo. You can't tell me. If that doesn't want to mot if that doesn't motivate you to want to play football, international football, aka soccer, then I don't know what does. Folks, I got to announce it now. The contest for the week for the next you're going to have this on the Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page until Christmas. It's going to be I want from all of you and you the best holiday spread out there. The best Christmas, New Year's spread. Something that represents beer. Represents the show. Beer. Song. You know, if you want to lay a bunch of Christmas CDs out or something like that. With beers. And uh, some Christmas decorations. Put it all together. Lay it out there. Take a picture. Submit it to the Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page. Whoever wins will get that cover photo. They will get the uh, profile picture. And they will get a very special shout out on this here show. And that picture will last until next year. Alright? So, I, I don't know when the contest is going to end. Right now it's December 10th. I'm thinking... We'll end it around the uh, 20th, maybe. Around that time frame we're looking at. Maybe the 21st while we bring in winter. Because winter is December 21st. Let's do that. <coughs> Friday, December 21st. Is the deadline. Get those pictures out there. Holiday spread. Christmas, New Year's. Decorations. Beers. Songs. CDs. Uh, whatever. I think bonus points will be a picture of yourself with all that stuff. Something that represents the Beer and Song of the Day well and has you in the picture. That is a huge, huge, huge advantage if you get yourself in the picture, okay? Folks, I'm out of here. You know what they say, right? 
Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, it's time to make like a fetus and head out. So everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. Max Perry, drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber to me than the Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is root for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as gay as Tom Brady. Manning or men slapping women or racism. Things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve, especially racism and drinking and driving. You deserve the old GFY, all right? I'm out of here, folks. We went over 40 minutes today. See you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Lots of energy, baby. Lots of energy.